Alrighty, YouTube, back at it. We're working, uh, showing the Scania project again. Um, I had a request to show how I hooked up my trailer release mechanism to the DX9, which I'm currently using. Um, what I did was I actually went in and made a custom mix. So if you start out at your main menu and push down on your thumb wheel, you're going to roll down to mixing. And you can see right here I have um, elevator and aux mixed together. I hope you can see that. Um, and you can see that they're 120% uh, switch H, which is this guy here. Switch H. So it's just a simple on-off switch. Um, what you do is you just click on the first one and you roll it until you find the one you want, which is already set up. And then you hit the switch and see what your offset's going to be, right? So what that does is that makes it so on my switch, my switch here, that actually makes elevator and aux one talk to each other. So let's see if we can like that. So now they're talking to each other. We need to make it so um, elevator doesn't do what it normally does, which is turns on the lights and functions like that when this is off. If we hit the elevator switch, we're going to get lights and we're going to get the horn and hazards and whatnot. So we don't want all that to go on while we're unhooking the truck. So what I then did is in a uh, special mix, uh, I made another mix. Uh, so it's mix two on mine. And what I did is I actually negative the rate on each other. So when it's activated... Um, my rate is negative 100 and negative um, 100 on both directions. And the black square is what it means when it's activated. Right now it's normal. Black is activated and it produces a negative 100% and a negative 100%. So that means that it's actually canceling itself out. And they're mixed together to allow me to do that. So that's how I did it. Um... It's kind of, once you've got that done, you're just going to uh, just hit your switch here, and that's how we get our setup, right? And then turn it off, and we have lights and blinkers again. Turn it back on, and we're back to um, your, your aux is tagged. So, now that we got that set... I'll show you on the trailer, get it into view. You can see the trailer right here functions off of this lever. Right here, midway push is legs down, or down. All the way push is legs up. So what we're doing, in order to get it to drive, or in order to get it to function right, you have to you have to push all the way. You got to push like halfway in, and that'll push the lever. You can see I don't know if you can see, but this piece is actually moving. All the way is going to push the lever up, right here, or the legs up. Right here is going to put the legs down, and then pull forward. So pull back, and that's going to release the trailer and at that point we just drive away so that's how I did it I hope that's helpful I hope everything showed up in view I know it'll work it will work on your DX6 if you can do the mixing um, the mixing setup is going to be a bit different but you should be able to do the mixing fine and it'll work on the new DX6 and the DX7, 8, um, 9, 18 it'll work on all those radios JR, it should work on most of your JRs and your Futabas. Um, but that's how I did it. If there's any questions or comments, leave them in the little question comment spot and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Speedy Mix, enough.